It does. It's up power of boxing. Now, who is number one pound for pound right now? Uh, we've seen November 19th. That was supposed to decide it right there. Uh, Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev. Uh, going into that fight, uh, everyone was saying whoever wins this is going to be number one pound for pound. Uh, I, including me, but uh, I thought going into the fight, Sergey Kovalev was already number one pound for pound on my list. He is number one, uh, just because he has proved it. He's had many, I think he's had more than seven like title defenses or it might have been, this might have been his eighth or something for the WBO. But since, um, what's his name? Cleverly, he got the title from. But he's consistently beating top 10 light heavyweights. Uh, Jean Pascal, Bernard Hopkins, uh, and others. Those are just the two most uh, well-known ones. But, and very good undefeated uh, fighters. Uh, with or very little, only one loss on the record, right? Uh, so he's consistently beating top light heavyweights, and the only one he didn't beat was Adonis Stevenson, Adonis Chickenson. But other than him, he beat the number two, the number three, and all others in the top ten he's been beating consistently. So uh, that's why he was number one in my book. He's more proven than Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin has the potential to be number one, just like Lomachenko, the skills. But if you add the skills and the resume, uh, Kovalev has proven it. And uh, ever since the Hopkins fight, I started believing that he could be number one uh, if he keeps doing this, and he's number one in my opinion. Andre Ward, on the other hand, going into the fight, he wasn't even my top 10. Uh, the f he lost this fight, so I don't think you can put him in the top 10 still. Uh, he's been way too inactive. And when he did come back, he's had five fights in the last like three years or, or five. I don't even know. Since 2012, he's fought like five times or something. And against guys that aren't even in the top 10. The only good guy he, he faced at the time was Edwin Rodriguez and... Like, I don't, he's not in the top 10 anymore, I don't think. But at the time he faced him, he maybe was. But that was, I don't even know if that was at light heavyweight. I forget now. He barely fights. And the inactivity and the talent he was facing wasn't that good. He wasn't fighting any top 10 guys for the last, since 2012, he hasn't been facing top 10 guys. So that is why he is not in my top 10. So... Now that the fight is over, do we have a clear number one pound for pound? Now that Kovalev clearly won the fight, but he didn't get the decision. Officially, Andre Ward won. And now you got organizations, fans, media, all that, boxing people, saying that the number one spot is vacant. And the reason why they say this is because even though Andre Ward won, he didn't really win. He won officially, but they can't put him number one because... He didn't really win. And on the other hand, you got Kovalev, who everyone thought, majority of people thought he won the fight, but he didn't win officially, so they can't put him number one, uh, the organizations and all that. So uh, the number one pound for pound slot, uh, pound for pound spots, like it's in limbo now, just because we got a, a robbery. Now we're in this limbo situation where we can't put anyone number one pound for pound because the guy who won clearly didn't get the decision. So you can't officially put him number one. But the fans see it. They know who won. And I think the media and everyone knows that Kovalev was clearly is number one pound for pound. They just can't put him officially. Some people actually, they, it is he is my number one pound for pound. So in my opinion, Kovalev is number one pound for pound. Unless Andre Ward in the rematch can beat him. He is number one pound for pound. And I believe Kovalev will beat him in the rematch. I'll get into that in another video. Why I think he'll win the rematch. But uh, round by round, I could see there was a lot of close rounds. But still, Andre Ward did not win the fight. Uh, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, and it's weird because if you look at uh, 
WBO website, I was on looking at the rankings. They have, I don't know if they forgot to update their feed or their website, but like they have Sergey Kovalev is the champion still, and they don't have they didn't give they don't have Andre Ward having the belt. They still have Kovalev is the champion. I wonder why that is, why they wouldn't update that. Because you would think they would have to, even if they didn't like the decision, they would have to force them up. They would have to update it as Andre Ward being the champion. And it says their fighter of the month, the WBO fighter of the month for November is Sergey Kovalev. So that's kind of weird how they would put him as fighter of the month when he lost the fight. But it's probably because they, they, they thought he won the fight and they don't care about the decision. And then you have Ring Magazine, uh, top, top pound for pound fighters. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll go to that right now because uh, I might forget actually what they, uh, the rankings are. Okay, yeah. So they, they had Gonzalez, I think, number one Ring Magazine for a while now. And... Uh, <clears throat> They have Andre Ward number two. So Andre Ward improved. He went up from, I think, number four to number two. And Sergey Kovalev's number three. So it's kind of, and it's kind of interesting the way they did that because Gennady Golovkin's number four. But when I remember before this fight took place, it was Roman Gonzalez number one. Gennady Golovkin was number two, I'm pretty sure. Then it was Sergey Kovalev, and then so Sergey Kovalev did not move a spot, but Andre Ward moved up to number two. You would think that Gennady Golovkin would move up to number three, and Sergey Kovalev would move down the list. But the fact is, Sergey Kovalev never lost a spot, and the reason for this is, I think, is because they recognized that Kovalev did enough to win the fight, even though we didn't get the decision. They uh, thought he won the fight, but officially they have to put Andre Ward better because he officially won it. But in everyone's mind, on paper he lost, but in the eyes of the fans and everyone out there, Kovalev won that fight clearly. I don't care if you thought the fight was close or a lot of the rounds, a lot of the rounds, later rounds were close. You had a lot of, like I, I scored the fight again and I could see if you gave every single round to Andre Ward, all the rounds, even the close rounds that Kovalev clearly won those close rounds, Andre Ward, you would have him winning by one point. But that, like, never, like, if you had Sergey Kovalev, on the other hand, winning all the close rounds, even the close rounds where Andre Ward clearly won those close rounds, the score would be, like, 117-110, or it's 116-111. It'd be a high, huge margin. So do the math, right? Uh... There was a bad decision. A draw would have been a bad decision. The perfect decision probably would have been 115 to 113. Or that, that probably would have been the perfect decision. 115, 113. 114, 113 for Kovalev at the most. Uh, no lower, no higher than that. I mean, no lower than that would have been. So that would have been the perfect score. But we all know... Numbers aside, 114, 113, 115, 113 for Kovalev, even though those would have been good. Numbers aside, Kovalev clearly won the fight, whatever score it was. And uh, he's num he's my number one pound for pound. Sergey, the crusher Kovalev from Russia, from Russia with love. Still, the WBO, IBF, WBA light heavyweight champion in my mind. And will get the belts back in uh in the in the spring possibly april so anyway let me know what you guys think who's your number one pound for pound and it just irritates me that we got the limbo now of the pound for pound spot because one guy won the fight but he didn't really win the other guy won the fight but he didn't officially win so it's you know it just complicates stuff anyway thanks for watching Power of boxing, powering down.